So in this example, we have two masses, A and B, of 10 kilos and 20 kilos respectively, traveling in the same direction. Mass A is traveling at 15 meters per second, and mass B is traveling at 3 meters per second, just before they collide. The coefficient of restitution between A and B is 0.2. Find the loss in kinetic energy. OK, so we'll draw a diagram first. We have particle A and particle B. A has a mass of 10 kilos. B has a mass of 20 kilos. A is travelling towards uh, B at a speed of 15 metres per second, and B is travelling in the same direction, but at 3 metres per second. So this is before. Now, afterwards... For A, we don't know its velocity, so I'll write that as u metres per second. And the same for B, I don't know that's uh, velocity either, so I'll write it as v metres per second, that's after. The masses, of course, won't have changed. And we know that the coefficient of restitution is 0 0.2. So just as we did in the previous video, we will utilise the conservation of linear momentum and the calculation for the coefficient of restitution. So, the conservation of linear momentum first, that would be 10, so the mass times the velocity, 10 times 15, plus 20 times by 3, and that's going to be equal to 10 times u, plus 20 times v. So we'll have 10u plus 20v is equal to 150 plus 60, so 210. Now, we can simplify that, divide through by 10 if we like, so u plus 2v is 21. And that will be my first equation. Now, the calculation for the coefficient of restitution is the speed of separation, which will be v minus u, divided by the speed of approach, which is 15 take away 3. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.2. So v minus u is going to be equal to 12 times 0 0.2, so 2.4. And that's equation number 2. Now I should be able to solve those on my calculator. OK, so we've got 1, 2 and 21, and we've got minus 1, 1 and 2.4. So we've got 27 over 5, so 5.4 metres per second, so that's u. Um, so that's velocity of A after the collision. And the velocity of B after the collision is 7.8 metres per second. Or, or U is just 5.4 and V is 7.8. So I've got the units there already. OK. Right, so now find the loss in kinetic energy. Now, the kinetic energy from before the collision will be the sum of the kinetic energy for particle A plus the sum of the kinetic energy for B. So 1 half times m times v squared, so 1 half times 10 times 15 squared, plus 1 half times 20 times 3 squared. That will be the kinetic energy for B. So 0 0.5 times 10 times 15 squared, plus 0 0.5 times 20 times 3 squared. And that's 1,215 joules. Now the kinetic energy afterwards will be equal to 1 half times m times v squared. So in this case u squared, which is the 5.4 squared plus 1 half times m times 7.8 squared. So 0 0.5 times 10 times 5.4 squared plus half times 20 times 7.8 squared. And we get 754.2 joules. So the kinetic energy lost in the collision will be 1,215 take away 754.2. So 1,215 take away 754.2. And we get 460.8 joules. So that is the loss in kinetic energy.